Hey, hello, well met friends! Andang here for another episode of Minas Tirith. When we last left off, we were getting ready to talk to Ingold in the new version of the city that's currently under siege. Already. Andang, an icy chill grips my heart. It takes all of my strength to stand here on the wall. My heart quails, and would have me fly from my post in terror. Ingold lowers his voice and speaks in hushed tones for the first time in the game. The enemy has capitalized vile ammunition into our city. Heads they have taken from soldiers caught outside the walls. In Pelennor and Talathanor, the barrage has caused men to cast down the weapons, fleeing from sight of friends and family returned in horrible fashion. I am not immune to this weapon of Mordor. I have recognized the faces in that terrible rain. It was the fate of Baranthant and then, and I wept to see it. Can you gather the weapons and shields that were dropped by my frightened men as they fled their stations? We need that equipment and those men if we are to stand against the armies of Mordor. Mordor. Right, it's nice of them to drop it all right next to you. Seriously, how can you not be able to do this yourself? Okay, apparently there are shields and there are weapons because weapons are not the same as shields. This is like a shield cluster over here. All right, here we go. This is totally pointless, and could have been in smaller numbers once again. And this appears to be totally glitched out, as far as the floating name goes. There we go. I do not blame them for running, but we need them to muster their fear. Thank you for gathering up the weapons, my friend. Now we need the men to wield them once again. I do not blame them for running. Evil are the sights in war. But this is worse than even the hardened soldier of Gondor could expect. We must not give up hope. If the men who ran do not return to fight, they will prove great allies to the foes outside the city. Only by returning to their posts and facing their fears can they strike a blow against such evil? Find the men who ran Andeng. Tell them to return. We need every soldier of Gondor to master his fear and stand against the host of Mordor. Or oh, all is already lost. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get your soldiers back. This is a big deal, but I'll use my short sleeve armor and convince them. Seriously, short sleeve armor is the worst idea. Oh man, he is running away still. He doesn't want to die, okay. Dang. Are we going to get any of them back? Wow. These guys were really freaked out. But rightfully so. He will not flee again. Does that mean he'll return? That's not very specific. He might just mean he's going to go away and never flee again. Hey, he'll return and fight. There we go. So, you know, that's one and a half out of six. It's not too bad. And I guess I should use the half joke a little bit. What? Find frightened soldiers and convince them to return. Oh my gosh. We have to actually convince them to return. For Gondor, for Gondor. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Wow, there are a lot of these guys. 
You have to convince six of them to return out of however many. Okay. Well, I'm guessing these guys just ran away again. Maybe that's what that guy meant. He had run away to the other spot. Okay. The end has come, alright. He's still running. Let's see, this guy will be our last. He cannot return, he will not. Okay. I mean, that is easily the most effective weapon Sauron has. There's no way this guy, he's cowering a lot. Oh, apparently the more you cower, the more likely you are to return. Good to know. Yeah, oh man, I just had a thought. If they had those heads actually fly through the air in the epic battle. <laughs> oh, that would be crazy. Or you just randomly see like heads raining down in this version of the city. Fight into the lust of my courage is spent. That would probably go beyond the teen rating though. You did well, my friend. I too will fight until the last of my courage is spent. In order to avenge the sad fate of my friends. Baron Thant will be avenged, and if it is to be my power to prevent the destruction of Gondor, I will do it. Alright, that's one of the quests down. There is elephants down there. Alright. Well, we now need to go up to the higher edges of the city, so here we go. Alright. Fire threatens to spread throughout the city. The armies of Mordor have catapulted flaming stones into the city, and the fires threaten to spread. My men have set water buckets on each level, but they are simply not enough to go around. If you could help out the blaze, help put out the blaze before they spread, you'd be doing the city a great service. Quickly ending, here in the sixth circle, and use one of the water buckets you to put out the flaming stones. And then work your way down the city, level by level. There will be water buckets near the ramps, down from each circle. But they may not be enough to the fires, unless you hurry. Go with my blessing, friend. We cannot both fight the fires and our foes at the same time. We must control the blazes before the enemy gets to the city. You've got to be kidding me. We're going to go level by level? <sighs> yeah, I know I must face the target. Extinguish the burning stone in the sixth circle of the besieged city. Okay. Here we go. You extinguish the burning stone. <sighs> this is another annoying quest. Yay! I'm so excited. Yep, it really does want us to go down to the fifth level. I wonder if we can actually go down this way in these. I highly doubt it. Nope, we get to go all the way around. Oh my gosh. Which is actually this direction. Um, so this is going to be all kinds of fun. I'm probably just going to go ahead and skip to the end of this, but not looking forward to endlessly going level by level with one bucket and if we have to come all the way back up here every time because apparently there's no other wells in Minas Tirith then this is the worst designed city ever in the history of all of Middle-earth 
There's wells on every level, and we better be able to use them. Or I'm going to be super upset. Alright, we're nearly to this one. Pick up the water bucket. Okay, let's see if there's actually one down over here. Okay, so it does show that there are water buckets all over the city, thank goodness. And this one's not even by a well. This is dumb. Can we mount up at least? Nope. Or steed up? Nope. Okay, well, let's go do all this fun and exciting quests. Alright, whoever thought about putting this type of implementation at Turbine should really rethink the way that they design quests. Because we had to go from way over here at the end of the stairs all the way down to here. And I mean, don't get me wrong, extinguishing fires would be great quest design. But the idea of having to go from one end of the city to another seems just completely ridiculous. Um, okay, let's talk with these guys. Oh, this gets the blood flowing, does it not? <laughs> and dang, how do you fare? This gets the blood flowing, does it not? It puts me in mind of any number of great adventures. And I look forward to adding to my list of great deeds. Golasigil here does not share my enthusiasm. So I have resolved to have enough of for the both of us. Let the enemy gain the wall, and we'll see how many of them it will take to wipe that smile off my face and the laughter from my lips. More than there ought, I wager. An air of doom hangs over the city, but Forlong does not seem to care. He does not realize that this night could spell the end of Minas Tirith and for Gondor. We are surrounded. The gate was never fallen, but there has never been an army on the Pelennor like this one that fills it now. I cannot explain Forlong's disposition. I cannot even understand it. And I mean, especially on like the 5th and 6th level, if there's soldiers up there, they would totally be able to do this type of stuff. There's no reason we need to be on fire patrol on those upper levels. Yeah, you're welcome for the password, buddy. I mean, the orcs aren't even breaching the walls yet, so... Very frustrating. And, I mean... The main reason it's so frustrating is just that we're having to go throughout this whole city, which I timed, and it takes literally, if you speed run it, like seven minutes or something ridiculous like that. So, oh hey, the rock's actually over here for once. That's nice of them. Dang, this really took out this area. Okay, so let's see, now there's another one over there. So, anyway, let's keep going through all this and, oh man, really messed up city. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we extinguish this stone. It is good to see you making yourself useful, friend. My sons wanted to charge out to the city and take on the enemy by themselves. Their hearts burn for battle, but I have set them to more reasonable tasks. When the great ball came down, trailing fire behind it, it took a large bite from the wall. For now my sons work to shore up the defenses and repair what they can. They grumble about it, but I know there will be fighting before the night is over. They will have their chance. I hope you will be ready as well, when that time comes. It will not be long now, champion. 
Okay, so now we need to go all the way back up to the Dome of Stars. But at least we did not go down to the first level where people would actually need help putting out fires. Unless there are just no fires down there. Because on the first level, you would actually need it because the soldiers would all be trying to defend the wall and there would not be time to put out all the fires everywhere. Although there are more soldiers down there, so, you know, maybe they could. But, especially in like the 5th and 6th tier, there are so many citizens in the city that could be on fire patrol. Alright, well anyway, let's make our way all the way back up to the Dome of Stars and learn what must be done. Alright, well there go a bunch of soldiers. Whoa. Whoa. What happened? Did Barragel get in here? Oh man. The withered tree has left us a message. The siege is well and truly begun, Andan. We must hope that our preparations were enough, and that the gate stands strong. It should hold the enemies outside at bay for some hours, I hope. But it is the enemies now within our walls that concerns me right now. Look at the model of the city on the table, and the scroll that now decorates it. The message is the work of the withered tree. The end has come. That may be so, but I am going to ensure that the withered tree reaches its end before we do. Some member of the group gained access to the Dome of the Sun and committed this act while we were busy elsewhere. I am the Captain of Tidings, and I sent forth errand riders throughout the city and to other parts of Gondor, but that is not my own title. I am also Spy Master of Minas Tirith, and I know how a group like the Withered Tree operates. They must have gained some of the passwords from the upper circles of the city. Huron must change the passwords, Handang. We have not used the current set for as long as usual. But in time of war, three hours may seem like days. Ask him for the new passwords, and give them to the gods at the gates of the upper citadels, circles. Then find the members of the withered tree in the lower circles and make them sense. Cease the hateful whisperings. I will meet you in the first circle when you have proved successful. So once again, we're going throughout the city with ounce of travel. Yay! There should really be swift travel at every single level in all these versions of the city. But there is not. Oh, talk to him in the Dome of the Sun. There you are, you are hiding. We must change the lesser passwords. It is time. I have already written a new set of passwords for the gates into the upper circles of the city. Show them to the gods, and then destroy this parchment. Perhaps that will hinder the movement of the withered tree into the upper levels. After the passwords have been set, Lamlor wants you to find members of the withered tree urging descent in the lower circles. If you will be able to recognize them, I suppose that would work. They have become more brazen in recent days. And now that the siege has begun, I suppose they have nothing more to lose. They may be obvious to you now, Andeng. Go with haste, and remain loyal to the council, and to the steward. Right, to the steward, not the orc or Aragorn. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, make sure to look at the episode with Gandalf, where he dropped all these major lore bombs on us. 
Alright. And they are literally bombs, like huge revelations. Alright, and there's now like a tent in the city because it's daytime technically. Okay. Three hours have passed. Only three. Oh, hey. Set as quest guide, focus. So that's that one. We need to go up to the seventh circle. Okay. That is easy enough. What is that? So I'm kind of sad that that picture that has all that awesome Gondorian soldiers patrolling around the city apparently does not exist. Apparently does not exist even remotely. And that's kind of annoying because that would be so awesome to have like, especially that war steed that has like that cool Gondorian armor would be really really cool to have in the game and so kind of disappointed about that. My red tent is getting stronger. Oh, man. Already a new password. Very well, Andang. I recognize Herlin Herin's mark. And I will see to it that none pass the gate, save those that know the password. Light of hope. It is an appropriate password. May it still possess that of the witch it speaks when the night ends. Man, that would be tough to remember as a guard. To remember to forget the old password. Remember a new password all the time. That would be tough. I barely remember my computer passwords that are like, you know, months on end. Alright, if not years. How the heck does he remember new passwords all the time? I mean, it's only been three hours, apparently. And already a new password. I believed we would soon need new passwords. This is Herlin's mark. And now I recognize only the new password. Flame of victory. I hope that it is our victory, and not the victory of Mordor, that this password pres presages. Alright, this city is a mess. Okay. Stupid bucket of water. I want to kick that bucket. I'll have like an a phobia now to buckets of water. Forget like the fl the heads that they're throwing over. The buckets of water are the real enemy of Minas Tirith. They scare even the youngest children. They'll tell tales of the parents of how Andang had to go up again and down. And it's this never-ending tale, and children will never get to bed because their parents are just so distraught on telling the longest story ever created. Or it'll be like 30 bedtimes. 30 bedtimes later, and Deng finally put out the 10 fires in the city. Alright, I missed my turn. There we go, buddy. The Orcs of Mordor will not turn from this gate for the lack of the password. A new password already? I think the time for passwords is behind us, and then the Orcs of Mordor will not turn away from my gate because it lacks a password. But that is Herne's mark, and I am bound to obey. The new password will be triumphant. But whose triumph will it be, I wonder? It's interesting how the closer we get down to the bottom that uh, they get worse and worse, but at the same time, the guards for each gate would be trusted less and less as you get farther down too. So that's kind of cool. Alright, investigate the fourth circle of the city for the withered tree. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. Here's where the citizens of Gondor come in. The steward is a fool! We will not die for him! He has already sold the city to our enemies, and now he has to die for him? None of us will see the dawn. Die, Andeng, and know that the withered tree has ended your tale. Now die. Okay, you're friendly. How about we just all walk away and be friends? We could be frenemies. That would be great. Frenemy. We'll just be frenemies. It'll be fine. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Um, 
So I'm wondering why we couldn't do this quest and the other one at the same time. Maybe we could, and I just totally missed that, but... I really wish that that would have been the case. Alright, that one looks fine. Okay, let's head on to the next part. Alright, well I just realized that this has been a long episode already, so when we return, we will find out what other citizens can be trusted in the city below. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Minas Tirith. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe. And you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon. And you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again real soon for another video.